Today we are taking the Amtrak Cascade from Seattle, Washington to Vancouver, Canada, an international train line operated by Amtrak. But first we're starting right here at King Street Station and Seattle, Washington, 6.40 a.m. The city is coming alive even though it is cold. Why don't we make beautiful train stations like this anymore? Okay, so far I think this is my favorite Amtrak station, or train station in America in general. Like, just looking up at the ceiling, because y'all know, your boy loves the ceiling. I know, it's gorgeous, sir. Like, I feel like, I feel like I'm back in Europe right now. Like, it's really nice. We need to go back to train stations like this, the glory days, sir. Are you going to Canada today? No, Oregon. Okay, have a, have a good one, sir. And you gotta love just talking to people, but yes, train station, wow. If you're arriving at the station and you wanna travel throughout Seattle, they actually have the train schedule right here, the metro schedule. They even have a dockless mobility. So you have the bike and the scooter and a water taxi. You gotta love the small details. And they do have a baggage claim section that looks just like an airport. And just look for the gold lettering right here for baggage. And you can pick up your bag from over there. Okay, so why are you lovely ladies taking the train today in Seattle, and where are y'all headed? Well, we are from San Diego, and my daughter goes to college here in Seattle, and so we wanted okay. to take advantage of the beautiful opportunity so close by and go explore Canada for the first time. The only thing I was seeing, though, was like, it rains a lot in, in Vancouver, and it's going to rain today, apparently. Yes, but I've heard that it just adds to the magic of the experience. Really? I'm Davion. Hi, Davion. I'm Sharon. It was nice, nice to meeting meet you. you. Madison. Nice meeting, you. nice meeting you. This train station is still blowing my mind. I'm super excited to see what this train situation is going to be like, but they have a baggage claim here. Now, the only thing I did not find was actual, like, a cafe or something. Like, maybe I just missed it or there's some special lounge, but I just saw some vending machines. But everyone in here seems so cheerful. And plus, you got to love, like, these cool old brown benches. I'm sorry to my hometown Dallas, but like, why don't we have a beautiful train station like this anymore? Like, <sighs> and this is the restroom facility. Nothing flashy. What's up, Davion? And if you're headed to Canada, you're gonna wanna make sure you have your passport because there's gonna be a little booth right over there and they're gonna just check your passport, but that doesn't mean I'm into Canada, obviously. We're not there yet, but have your passport and your ticket ready. This is the beautiful Cascade train we're taking today to Canada. You know, I don't really like getting up early in the morning, but there's just something about catching, catching a train or a plane early in the morning to go somewhere new, specifically a new country. They also do have a bottom and a top portion to open. So if you don't want to use your hands, boom. space up here for suitcases. As soon as you get on board for business class, there is an ice and water maker right here. And then more room for big luggage, it's like a lot of room. And if you're bringing on a wheelchair, here's where you'll actually sit. They have the hookups right here, even a pool table. So they don't get left out. Two cup holders. This is how much leg room, this is how much leg room you are getting. A lot of leg room here in business class. A lot of space. Go and press this thing right here. Then you have your table tray. Now, you do get two lights. Wow, we're getting two different lights. And they both work this time. Because you guys remember on the Surfliner or on the Coast Starlight, one of my lights didn't work. You get long curtains. The seat does recline. really far back. And one other thing, <coughs> this thing right here actually does come out too. Like really high. And then just to bring it down, 
or you're gonna gotta push your leg down. So one of the best things you can do on Amtrak trains is actually coming to the cafe car like these gentlemen right here. And what are y'all playing right now? Seven card, no peaky. <laughs> What's wild? Threes. Threes. Okay. It's just a great trip. This is our annual Canada pool trip. We take Amtrak to Vancouver. And we go play pool in every bar that still has a pool table in Vancouver. We know where they're all at, so we're excited. <laughs> so who's going to win this game? Who normally wins? No peaky. Well, we usually get him out quickly. <laughs> What's wild? Oh, pretty stingy out there for. You just play your game. <laughs> oh, oh, see so. I'd like, I'd like to introduce and meet my friend Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in, Dick. Two dollars to stay in. Oh, no. His last name is Morehead, Richard Morehead. My real name is Kevin. <laughs> well, you guys have a great day. Also, okay. I'm Davion. Have a good sorry, time. Sorry to go x-rayed on him. Oh, no, you guys are good. Have a safe, uh, safe travel. What's your name? Davion. Davion. See, this is the reason why, that's one of the reasons why I love taking the train meeting people like that that have spirit have soul and they're taking a guy's trip <sighs> i'm gonna have to definitely do a trip like this with my homies okay that was a, a slightly heavier door than i thought it was gonna be so this is the restroom pretty decent room now i will say though i think it should be a little bit bigger to get a full-size wheelchair in because it's gonna take up literally this much, and then you gotta gotta put the per you gotta move the person over there. Toilet looks clean. You got the sink right here. Hand washing. Huh. Oh, Sisa. I've seen this in Ukraine, and I don't like the system at all. You got your soap and your paper towels, and your coat and your toilet seat covers. So this train does have a cafe car. And I'm thinking I'm going to get one of the breakfast burritos. But they do have a couple of other options, some chips, some salads, some drinks, and of course the American stuff, hot dog, hamburger. But I mean, is the hamburger from Germany or is it from America? I don't, I don't know, y'all tell me. Okay. Around the corner to the right is condiments for you. Okay, okay thank you, sir. Thank you. All right, so we're trying their breakfast burrito again. Last time I had it, the potato, egg, and cheese burrito, it was pretty good. Pretty good size uh, burrito. Seven point four. Not bad, Amtrak. Welcome to America, where Amtrak and our trains are always behind schedule. Now, this is the Wi-Fi you're going to want to choose, Amtrak Wi-Fi. It's a little slower than the Surfliner's Wi-Fi, but it's still chugging along. We'll go with Life in Kharkiv, Ukraine. Oh, it's loading now. Still buffering. Okay, so the Wi-Fi situation on the Cascade stream. If you're trying to Google some stuff, do a little bit of research, okay. But if you're trying to stream something, I would not recommend it unless you download all your videos on Netflix and you watch them from your phone. So before you actually get into Canada, they are going to give you a declaration card which they're going to ask you to fill this out before you get to Canada. So what are you lovely ladies doing on the train today and where are y'all from? Uh, we're from Seattle area and we're on a girlfriend trip for someone's birthday. Oh, we love to hear that. <laughs> so what's, what are y'all gonna do? Uh, well, we were gonna go to a Christmas market. Uh, and uh, do you know about that? 
Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I love Christmas yeah. markets. We do too. And so we're going to a Christmas market. Uh, we're going to go out to dinner. We'll probably walk around, do a little shopping. Nothing too exciting. And how come you guys chose to take the train instead of driving or taking the plane? Because, you know, a lot of people don't think that Americans take trains. Typically, it's just the West Coast and East Coast. And actually, in Texas, surprisingly, we have trains, which most people don't know about. Right? Yes. Yeah, see, exactly. Yes. <laughs> So, well, we t take the train because it's very convenient. Um, fantastic views, you know, all the way up. It's water most of the way. Why are you saying it? It's beautiful because you are. <laughs> She's just stunned with how, beauty how much beautiful it is. But, but I will recommend the, tra the Amtrak to the Glacier National Park. So I've been it's wanting to do that amazing. one. Really? Amazing. Amazing. Okay. Okay, it's going to happen. Watch well, my name's Davion. Oh, thank you. Honor. Nice to meet you. You. Nice to meet you, lovely ladies. Have a good one. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We have finally entered into my 38th country, Canada. I know it's taken me a while, but I'm finally here. That is one of the good things about business class. You actually get off the train before everyone else, so customs won't be as long. Finally, I finally made it to my 38th country, Canada, and... It's raining here. What a welcome to Canada. My name is Davion West. I don't know where I'm headed to next, but I hope you're going to follow me to 196 countries.